All right, let's take a look at how you can get all of your files backed up into OneDrive so that as you change computers or you leave the district, you have everything that you want from your old computer. So I'm going to start by looking at File Explorer, which you see right here. The File Explorer can be accessed through the little file folder that's located at the bottom of your computer screen or by clicking on the Start Windows button and then clicking this Documents folder right here. That will take you directly into a specific folder inside of where I'm looking at which is called the This PC Documents. If you end up there, either way you'll be in good shape. Now, we want to look at this list on the left side. Yours may look a little bit different than mine, but let's talk real quickly about what we see. So Quick Access is another shortcut to get to some of these things here on your PC, but we're going to skip that for now. Creative Cloud you may, may or may not have. That's an Adobe piece. I have a OneDrive personal account synced. I also have my school OneDrive account synced here, so everything that I click on right there, these are all the same folders that you would see over here in my OneDrive in the cloud. Then the next option here is the Sulphur Springs Independent School District with what looks like a little building icon. That icon is stuff that would be saved in my Teams, so I actually have a few of my Teams folders saved here or other shared folders that I have, and I can sync some of those. But this is really the area that we have to focus on. It's the one called This PC, and so yours might be minimized. If you click on the little arrow next to it, you'll be able to see these areas. Now, where most people will save documents by default on their uh, personal computer would be this Desktop folder, this Documents folder, maybe the Pictures folder and the Video folder, and then you'll have a lot of stuff in your Downloads, because every time you click Download something from the brow or web browser, it's going to show up in that Downloads folder. So those are the main areas that you're going to want to back up. If you know that you've saved something somewhere else, then obviously you want to back that up as well. So let's take a look at OneDrive. So I've gone to that through the waffle, and I've clicked on OneDrive, and now I'm here in my OneDrive. The first thing I'm going to do is click up here in the option where it says New on the little drop-down, and I'm going to click New Folder, and I'm going to create a folder named Computer Backup. You can call it whatever you want, but I want to make it something that shows me that this is from my old computer. I'm going to click Create. And then I'm going to slide down here in my list to where it says Computer Backup, and I'm going to click on that. Now, I know that I'm inside my Computer Backup folder because I can see right here that it starts with Files, so I know I'm in My Files area in OneDrive, and then here the Computer Backup is the folder that I'm in. And I want to make sure I put everything into that folder and not just the main file so it's easier to find later and even easier potentially to just pull that back out onto my new computer. So I'm going to start by taking the Desktop folder over here, and I'm just going to click on it, and then I'm just going to left click and hold, and I'm going to slide that over until I get to this area where it says drag files here. I'm going to let go. You see it's uploading 51 items. Now, a lot of those items are not necessary, but this is just the simplest way you can do this. So now if I click on desktop, I will see all the shortcuts and everything else that I had on my old computer. Okay. Some of these are actually files and I, I might need those, but a lot of these shortcuts I would end up deleting later because I really don't need them. I don't need a shortcut to my Y drive or my X drive or my Z drive. But just the simplest, fastest thing to do is just pull that over. You also have the option of just selecting specific things and dragging those over instead. So if I click one, I can click another or I can go ahead and click, click on multiple files by holding down control and just clicking on the next ones. Or I can click the first one, hold down the shift button, and then I can select the last one in my list and it'll highlight multiple at once. I could do the same thing. I won't do it on this because these files already exist over there now, but I could just left click and hold on those as a group and then slide over here and drop that right there and I would get the same effect. So if you don't want to copy the entire folder over, you don't have to. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show the quickest, fastest way to be safe to know that you have everything over there at some point. Now the next one I'm going to click on here is Documents because this is really the area that most of you will have a lot of stuff. Now before I do anything though, I don't want to drag that over into my Desktop folder. So remember I created this Computer Backup folder inside the Files folder. And then the Desktop folder is listed inside of the Computer Backup. So if I just click back here on Computer Backup, I see that Desktop folder. Well, this is the area that I now want this Documents folder to be in. So I don't want to drag it over this, I want to drag it into this space and I know that the computer backup, if that's the last thing in my list of folders up here, that's what I'll be dragging into. So now I can just left click and hold over here on the left side. You see that I grab that folder called My Documents or Documents. 
I would drag it over here. I'm not going to do this because I have a ton of documents. I don't really want to back all those up right now. Just know that I could copy that and I'm going to get the same thing. Then at that point, I would still be in here and I would want to back up the other folders here that we talked about. So the downloads folder and the pictures folder would be two that I know I would want to do. And so if I clicked on downloads, I would drag that over just like I did the previous one. So that's the easiest way that you can go ahead and just drag those things over into your OneDrive space. And now you know that those are all there. So eventually then, if I copied all those folders over, I would end up having a whole list of those, those folders that look just like this list over here that I clicked on when I had my desktop and my documents and everything else. If you still need more help with that, be sure to let us know and we'll follow up with you to try to get you the help you need. Thanks a lot.